Can our country get its act together and build desperately needed economic infrastructure? Or are we going to keep buying tickets on the regulatory merry-go-round that is costing our economy tens of billions of dollars? that is jeopardizing the jobs and the well-being of tens of thousands of workers, and that is putting our country's future at risk. Both the Minister of Energy and the Minister of Environment have been engaging uh, with Ottawa over quite a period of time uh, in a great deal of detail about many, many elements within uh, Bill C-69. Um, and, and we're just sort of getting to a point uh, where, you know, we're going to see the matter going before the Senate. And, and so it's been actually quite a period of time where we've been talking talking about, okay, so, so what do we do next and, and where do we engage? Because uh, we haven't seen the movement that uh, we had hoped to see. Um, there are areas that, that uh, don't meet our needs and that need to be changed. And, uh, and so we are going to be very, very definitive. Uh, both uh, Minister Phillips and Minister McQuaid Boyd uh, will be uh, t making that, taking the opportunity to make the, that case very clearly uh, in, the, in the Senate. Uh, setting. We have an obligation to the people of Alberta to look at what's actually in writing, not rely on conversations that we have with people. So, uh, you know, even, even as we have been having productive conversations between the ministers, uh, the federal ministers and, and the provincial ministers about getting to the right place, we don't see that reflected in the language yet. We have asked that there be very clear statutory exclusion of downstream emissions from being considered. And then when you look at, at uh, sort of the uncertainty around some of the criteria, the uh, uh, plans of the federal government to engage in, in matters that have uh, consequences for Indigenous communities, and you pair that with some of the other work that they're doing on uh, the Indigenous framework, we are concerned that there is the potential for it to represent a, um, a, a reach into what is previously been solely provincial jurisdiction. And let me be very clear. Albertans manage energy. That is an Albertan birthright. And under no circumstances are we going to, in this government, uh, see that right be undermined.